going to look at being able to find the median, and in this, what's written is the IQR from a cumulative frequency graph. So that is the median and the IQR, which is the interquartile range. And in order to find that, you need to find the upper quartile and the lower quartile. So let's have a look at an example. Here we have a cumulative frequency graph. Uh, cumulative frequency is measured on the y-axis, and I think in this case it was time that is measured on the x-axis. Now to find the median, we use, we'll find all these values, we use this axis here. Now our median, we should hopefully know, should be halfway through our data. Now because we have got 30 bits of data in total, halfway up our data would be the value 15. So we use a pencil and a ruler, and we start at this value 15, and we go across until we hit our graph, and then go down, and we read our value off our scale. So in this case, we've got 54. And 54 is the value of our median. Then, to find the lower quartile, we need to find um, a quarter of our data. So if we know that a half is going to be 15, we should hopefully know that a quarter is going to be 7.5. So to find the lower quartile, we go halfway between the bottom and our median. So at 7.5, we go across till we hit our graph, then go down, and then we read off our scale. So I reckon that is 46.5, and that is going to be our lower quartile. Now the last one you find is our upper quartile, which will be halfway between our 15 and our top value of 30. So in this case, that's going to be at 22.5. So again, we're going to use our pencil and our ruler, draw a line going across from 22.5, so we hit our graph, then go down, and we'll read this time that we have got a value of 61. Which is our upper quartile. So that's our median. So we now know that our median equals 54. Our upper quartile is 61. And our lower quartile is 46.5. So to find our interquartile range, what we need to do is we need to use our upper quartile value and take away our lower quartile value. So we need to do 61 take away 46.5. Which when we calculate that, we should get an answer of 14.5, which is our value for our interquartile range.